Yo, it's your boy Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it. Oh dear. Yeah, even when it ends at phone at work. Anyways, Ek up ten. Walking back to van to shove his number on and stuff. We're uh, we're at race HQ now, it's all exciting. So I'm gonna slap you on my head, take you around, it's quite a scenic one. Don't expect it to be a fast one. Um because I went off the mark a bit fast yesterday at a park run. Um but yeah, I'm really excited about this one, I love it. And next week um is Ilkley Half Marathon. Another nice pretty one for you to have a look at. Yo, I'm back in the van with my boy Carl. Sup? <laughs> what a pair of idiots. <laughs> oh, I love rest. <laughs> uh, right, what do I have to do now? I don't know. I'll put camera down so I can crack on. See you in a bit. Oh, I don't know what she... Yeah, I'm going to look at my times, but also... Did I just swear? Sorry. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, do I wear... These, which I reviewed recently, which I love. Oh, carbons. Get your comments in quick. Race starts in forty minutes. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I ain't done nothing carbons for ages. Carbons probably gone rotten. <laughs> Be like a broken bread bed spring water. Broken bread spin. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let me send out, see you in a bit. Like, before I do uh, pop the camera on my head and get going on this race, um, the first time I did it, which was June 2026, no, it wasn't, that hadn't happened yet. <laughs> June... Time traveller, correct. <laughs> 26th of June 22. Um, I did it in 1 hour and 22 minutes, 14 seconds, and in July. 9th of 23 i need to sort my eyes out uh, i did it in 125 so progressively slower will i go out over or under today <sighs> We're off. Thanks for um, joining me on another mile by mile account of uh, today's race at the Ecup 10 mile. Is it called Ecup 10? Oh, no, it's just Ecup 10. <laughs> God, I'm so crap at this. Anyway, um, we're off to a good start. I like this one. It starts on a little bit of a descent. However, uh, we got to the start line a little bit too late. So it was uh, a little bit congested. And so I took some taking over some people, but um, anyway, yeah, let's just get through this little crowd and see how we get on for the first mile. And there we go, we've passed the first mile marker at 8 minutes and 4 seconds. So, quite happy with that one, as you can see on that little graph at the bottom of the screen. Um, it starts on a down, but then there's a bit of a kicker going back up. So, um, not a bad start to the race. Um, I was feeling quite confident at this point, and I was feeling really, really happy with my stride pod as well, because 
um, the first mile happened. In fact, pretty much all of them happened just as I was passing the mile markers, which never happens in races. They always go out, um, but not in this one. So yeah, kudos to Stride. Anyway, onwards and upwards, literally. flipping neck we're under the eight minutes on that one and as you could see there I just glided past the, uh, the little sign saying two miles we're nearly at the top of this little climb now and feeling pretty strong to be honest with you I weren't sort of blowing at this point um, heart rate there at 165 that's generally my race heart rate uh, heart rate anyway so whenever I do do a race um, I tend to get to like into the mid 160s and kind of just stay there until nearer the end um, since the whole COVID fiasco um, and piling a lot of weight on that sort of went up <laughs> and so <laughs> any effort at all were like up in the 170s and 180s so it's good to see that coming back down to where it should be. Um, yeah, pretty sure for myself. So let's see how uh, how we get on in up to the third mile. That's it, we're uh, third mile done at 7.32. Uh, so as you can see from the graph, quite a bit of that were downhill anyway, so kind of cheating. But even still, I'm quite happy that um, the time that I've got is kind of at the top end of where my park run times have been this year um, on the rare occasion. So speed's clearly coming back. Obviously, if I can maintain this sort of pace for the rest of the race, um, I'm in for an all right little time. Um, I had hoped to sort of get early eights for the duration, um, knowing that the, the latter part of this race does get more difficult with the climbs. Uh, we're not talking sort of like long climbs, we're talking about short, sharp climbs with the long climbs, and you really do start to feel it in your legs if you've not done this race before. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get on to mile four and see See how I do.
So as we run along the side of the um, the water here in this nice little cool area, um, I've just passed the four mile mark and got the fastest mile yet at 7.27. So pretty chuff with that. I'm not really good with off-road and I decided to go with the carbons today, which really don't benefit you that greatly on um, already kind of compacted ground. So I really sort of, my legs felt slightly heavier on here. Um, but I'm not complaining because I'm pretty chuffed with my times so far. Uh, and the good thing is because obviously I've kept that under the eight minute mile and I've banked some for the climbs in a little bit. So that's how my tiny little mind works anyway. So yeah, let's crack on. So we're back over the eight minutes now for the um, fifth mile, eight minutes and eight seconds, which again is not too bad. Like I said, the uh, the ground weren't ideal alongside um, the reservoir, and then we're climbing immediately after that. So obviously that's affecting things a little bit. I did avoid the water. Uh, there were two water stations on the course today, but again I avoided them. Um, just i felt absolutely fine i think there were that much that i knew it was going to start raining a little bit <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna get a mouthful of water at some point um but yeah it it just didn't feel necessary so i didn't really want to risk any taking any water on board and then getting stomach cramps or what have you so anyway we're climbing and climbing and climbing up this uh, little bit of a hill here those clouds aren't looking favorable but yeah, let's dash round and see what mile six has on offer to offer. No. And there we go, cruising past the six mile mark at eight minutes and six seconds. Um, those clouds look awful. <laughs> I think at this point I did start to feel a little bit of uh, rain, but thankfully it did hold off until uh, across the finish line. Uh, but it did fair come down afterwards, so mad dash back to the van then. Um, anyway, yeah, this bit's a little bit up and down and more up than down it kind of is up until the highest point that you can see there on the on the map you really feel this bit now um, and especially with pushing on the first part of the race um, i do feel like if you've done this race once you do do it better in the future my first year of doing this even though it was my fastest time um, it could have been better if i'd have known where to sort of hold off and where to sort of floor it which is where I think I've which is why I think I've done better this time. Anyway, it's enough of me harping on again. That took over a minute. So let's move on to um eight.
There you go. Quite a bit slower, that one. Um, so that was 8.35, but again, this is really not a problem. I've banked those extra 30s and 40s that you can see there where it's gone over. Um, so we're quite happy with this at the minute. I still think I'm on for a, a, a good time at this point. Um, I do know that when I get to the end of this race, usually I'm kind of burnt out and the last part of it up to the finish is a climb because obviously the start were a descent. Um, I have thought to myself previously, hold off um, on these downs and try and keep some in the bank for the ups. And I've still burnt out and I've still walked up the hill twice previously. So I know looking at my times now, I can't afford to do that. I just need to keep moving forward. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're at mile eight in a bit now. So we'll crack on and see what nine brings us. And there we go, we've just passed mile A at 8.24, which to be fair, weren't bad when you look at what I just had to get up to get to it. Really pretty pleased myself at that point, and deep joy now because of all this downhill that I've got coming. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I love me gravity assist. Let's get to mile 10 and see what I finish this baby at. And there we go, that's mile nine done. Um, another nice little downhill one before the bugger of an uphill. Uh, quite enjoyed that one, I really enjoyed it, to be fair. Um, I don't know why, but everything seems to have stopped working here. Uh, so it stops doing the time on the side of the screen anywhere. That's great because it just keeps you guys in suspense. Hey, Right, let's crack on. And we're on the last climb here, as you can see. Really not a fan of this, but I'll go around this corner now and it's usually on this little point here where I've either walked a little bit or I'm just about to do a little bit of a walk. But today I'm not having any of it. I know I'm limited for time and I've really got 
sub 120 um, going through my tiny little mind. And when I looked at my watch and saw that it were on the cards, I just knew I had to floor it for the last bit. So um, I'll leave you to it and let you watch me pass the finish line and see what I get. Flipping neck, that was fun. <laughs> so we both cast PB'd. I put my little um, uh, thing up on the screen because I did a screenshot of my watch. <laughs> That's really clever. Um, so as I mentioned before, uh, June 2026. No, June 2022, uh, I did it in one hour 22 and 14. July 23, I did it in 125.49. And July 2024, today. I did it in 1 hour 19 and 47 seconds, so boom. Right, well, going to go get a drink now because I'm absolutely gagged, which is probably why you can hear me going... Um, and next week, another exciting time, it's... What is that? Ilkley Half. Ilkley Half Marathon. How good is that? So I'm not going to race race that one. I'm going to vlog it, so I'll just have little handheld with me. Um, yeah, so... So that's to look forward to. <laughs> See you then. Bye.